All right, how you doing today? Today we're taking a look at how to create multiple outputs for Easy Drummer and save those patches in Logic Pro. So let's check this thing out. So let's have an Easy Drummer open here. Now, if you have a stereo version of Easy Drummer open, like I'm gonna do right here, this is just the stereo version of the plugin. Let's say we have this drum kit loaded up and we have some beats going on. You do all your work and you're like, you know what? I wanna separate this. Or you could start with the multiple output already but let's say you didn't. So I set that up here. Obviously, I'm just doing this really quickly. We got the drums, some groove going on, so on and so forth. Now, we could just come over here and just switch to the multiple output 16 stereo, if you will. I switched it to multiple outs, the organic kit's open. We got the groove down here. So let's go back into Logic real quick. We'll open the mixer. We have the multiple out down here. Just open those up with that little plus button. And now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select all these auxiliaries and create a track. That way there are my, my window here as well. I'm gonna create a summing stack, command shift D, summing stack, create. We'll label this drums. And now we have this. Everything's still coming out of that channel because we need to come back into Easy Drummer, go to the mixer. They make this very simple. Just go over to the mixer section, hit multiple channel. It reroutes all these drum pieces to different places. And you can change them again if you want to or you need to. And now we have, you'll see the... We have our outputs. Now we can go through here and make these all official, if you will, kick drum and label them and stuff like that. I'm not gonna do that right now because this is gonna have to take too long for this video. Now, then we just come down here and hit save. And you can save that as, you know, easy drummer patch, whatever. Let's do that real quick. Easy drum, whatever. And then that's gonna be in my user patches. So if I come down here, software, instrument, user patches, easy drummer, whatever, it's gonna load that up for me. And then right there. Now, one problem that you might run into, a couple things when you change drum kits, sometimes the, the routing of the mixing is a little different for every drum kit. For example, if we change that to the Dream Pop kit, you might have different, uh, looks like the kick and snare are the same. I don't know where five and six, but the seven and eight goes to the hi-hat. There's no five and six for some reason. That was in the same as the last patch as well. So this has like the kick and the effects going out channel one and two. So maybe you want to change that. So there has to, there's a little bit of readjusting. Uh, I guess one thing you could do, I find that if you keep it within the same kits, like the mixers kind of stay the same. In other words, I went back to the organic kick here. If I go and do these presets, so that changed a bunch, but. Seven, eight still, okay. So you have to mess around and see what works best. Sometimes the routing gets a little bit changed with because the way Easy Mix does it, or Easy Mix, Easy Drummer uh, routes everything because every, every one of your mixed things are a little different when you change the patch. But I think most of them are gonna be fine. Anyways, that is all for now. Check out my other videos. There's, they'll be floating around the screen here uh, on Easy Drummer and Logic stuff. That is all for now. I will talk to you soon.